Ladies and gentlemen, Jaws Bergonzo here. What's next? In another of the stories that I put under the category of ignorant and uh, just plain stupid, um, once again, wokeness, like the cancer it is, strikes. And of course, corporate America takes a knee. Let's take a look. This comes out of PJ Media. Is Anheuser-Busch drunk? The beer behemoth is forcing woke gender unicorn on its employees. As you can see here, the lowly gender unicorn, which of course expresses, you know, gender identity, expression presentation, sex assigned at birth, sexually attracted to, and romantically emotionally attracted to. In another all-American brand, we used to be, Anheuser-Busch is no longer an American brand-owned company, they're British-owned, has jumped on the woke train. The maker of Budweiser, among other brands, with a robust craft beer coll collaboration line, has partnered with radical professors in education and humanities at Arizona State University. Yes, state-funded, taxpayer-funded, your taxes-funded university. To develop and implement a 15-module training program called To Be Welcoming. It's based on critical race and gender theory. Buzzwords, abort, abort, abort. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. Uh, according to a whistleblower who spoke with PJ Media, an email from, quote, Chief People Officer, Lindsey King, announced a program on March 24th. 2021. In the letter, King uses typical language about an inclusive workplace and how diversity brings better ideas. This new curriculum follows psychological safety, training for company leaders designed to, quote, foster environments where our teams and perspectives can thrive. Hmm. How progressive. The overall goal is maintaining an inclusive work environment where where every individual feels respected and empowered to bring their authentic selves. Authentic. You know, like Spanish food or Italy to work every day. No employer really wants that. Employers want employees to come to work, complete their assigned tasks, and contribute to the success and profitability of the enterprise. No, no, no. Not in progressive woke. No, no, no. It's not about your work. It's about how you feel. No employer really wants that. Anheuser-Busch knows this and integrates these concepts into their 10 principles while giving, uh, while they give a nod to diversity. In the people section, the company also says, quote, we believe in common sense and simplicity. We operate with excellence and efficiency. In all we do, always having our customers and consumers in mind. We manage our costs tightly to free up resources that support profitable top-line growth. There's nothing common sense or simple about this content. Anheuser-Busch implemented a program that could not have been inexpensive to develop and deliver, taking up employees' time and company resources, rather than how to improve their product. It teaches race and gender essentialism rather than valuing individual regardless of their race and gender. The latter is required by Title uh, Title 10 and is incorporated into every company's EEOC statement according to Anheuser-Busch. My thoughts. Another company bites the dust. Uh, how many times how many times do you have to continuously bang your head against a proverbial wall to know there's pain, here's how I stop it, stop banging your head. This is a slam your head in the car door moment. More businesses are bending a knee, breaking their back, bending over, and taking it proverbially up the yin-yang to basically become woke that I, 
as a company feel that diversity, inclusivity, identity politics, uh, 50,000 genders, your skin color is what matters because it's my feelings. Make sure all your boxes are checked because if not, here comes the woke mob and they will force you to kneel before Zod. Absolutely pathetic. And sadly, Anheuser-Busch won't be the last to take a trip on the woke train. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Brogonzo. This is what's next. If you want to see more videos just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe it. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.